Good evening everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. My channel name is Shy Town Girl and Miss Kalua, I think you can see just a little bit of over her in the corner there where she's kind of laying on the side because my whole side of this bed is covered with brand new items from Dollar Tree. Um, again, I said I hope everyone is doing well. Today is Thursday. It is actually August 1st. I got it right this time. August 1st. First. Alrighty, so I'm going to jump right into this haul because I do have so many different items. So here we go. <clears throat> These are new puzzles that I found. Um, they're so adorable. There's 24 pieces in each package. The um, It says recommended for ages 5 and up. I'll say it and I always say it. You know your children better than anybody else. Um, it says it comes in a, re a reusable bag. And here's this first one, which I thought was really cute. And of course, this is what the puzzle looks like when it's finished. And yes, of course, the unicorn caught my eye right away. Wow, I got some like 80s going on here. Um, the unicorn did catch my eye right away, but I thought it was simply adorable. So here's the first one. Again, a great stocking stuffer, I know, but it's common. Um, also something kind of cool for the kids, you know, they get bored and sometimes you just got to toss them something. This one here says fun on the farm. And there's what the puzzle looks like when it's put all together. Again, there's 24 pieces in each one. The next one here is called fun with the bugs. This one's like, woo too cute absolutely adorable the next one here I have is called under the sea and there's a big octopus holding different colored crayons and here's what it actually looks like when it's finished I'd never seen these before at my Dollar Tree or any Dollar Tree that I shop anyways um, this one is called Princess Dress Up. You know, God, I wish they had this kind of stuff when I was a little girl. They didn't have, I mean, they had cool stuff, don't get me wrong. Um, but it's just, uh, you know, things change. That's what the puzzle looks like when it's completed. So I thought those were pretty cool finds. I also did get, um, if you remember or if you watched my last video, I mentioned the secret body wipes that I was going to try to go back and get the water lily ones or the cool water lilies. So I did go back to the Dollar Tree that I got the other ones from and they did still have a pretty good supply. So these are the 15 count packages of the body wipes. They come in two different scents. There's not a lot of these to go around. Um... It's kind of like certain stores are getting them and certain stores aren't, just like everything usually is across the world. There's things that get put out there that some people never see in certain parts of the world because that's just the way they work. They want you to hunt for it. They want you to look for it. And you know what? It's I think a lot of it for most of us, at least for me, I can't speak for others, but people that I've spoke with, I think it's pretty safe to say that it's the thrill of the chase. You know, I know you can go online and order a lot of different things, but for me, it like it takes the fun out of it. You know, it's like a big treasure hunt, I guess you could say. Just my opinion. So I did grab two more of these, so I was very pleased to find those. Found some new band-aids. These are called Ugly Dolls. Um, I thought they were pretty funny, actually. You get 20 in a package, and basically, these are the different patterns that you will receive. It says that each Band-Aid is uh, three inches by three quarters. So they're all the same size, but that was new in my area. And then this was new in my area as well. And this is Pets 2, which I never even saw Pets 1. Again, you get 20 in a package. They're three and a quarter by three inches. And this one, you get a much more, I think, variety. You get a couple more styles. Um, and there's Max. Um, you get a couple more styles in this box, I think, than you did in the other box. Okay, I did find, they have these new bells out right now. And of course, um, they have one that was ring for coffee. And I was like, nah. But they did have this one that says ring for wine. I will take a whole bottle and then some. <laughs> These are super cute. They usually come out every year at some point. 
Um, they are five inches in length, so they're, you know, they're decent. What I like about them is they all have the black handles regardless of what color the bell is. The bells are all done in different colors, but what I liked about this is it says it's the same thing on the front as the back. So no matter which direction that you place it on, you can see it on the front or on the back. Whoops, just went sliding down. Okay, <clears throat> so many new things. How about this? This is a new sign and it says dream. So it comes with a little thin rope that's already attached and you can change that to ribbon or whatever you would like to change it to. Um, this is just considered wall decor. Wall decor. Let's get a measurement on this because this is a pretty decent size piece. Um, 12, 14 inches by five and a half. And I don't know if you saw this little star up here. There's this little star here and here. There is glitter. It's pretty cool, right? I thought that was neat. I've never seen that before, so that was pretty cool. And then you've got these arrows. So that was pretty cool. And then right next to that, I found um, they're actually two of the same. I have a package that's like really similar to this. These are laser stickers. There's 32 in this package. They are just so stinking cute. Let me try to get the um, glare off for you. Well, you obviously know why I grabbed them. I mean, it just screams unicorns and cupcakes. They are so adorable. I've mentioned before that I'm a huge, huge fan of the laser stickers. Um, <clears throat> just my opinion. There's a lot of different stickers to choose from at Dollar Tree. And in fact, there's lots of stickers to choose from all kinds of places. But I do believe you kind of get what you pay for when it comes to stickers. It seems to me that when you get those really big sets that's got like, you know, 700 stickers in there, that's great. But usually the stickers are the size of peas or they don't stick well. I have found and um you know these are jot i don't know if jot's all that great or not i'm not very familiar with the products except for what i see at dollar tree but i do find that the foil stickers in the jot they rock they stick really really well i hate stickers that peel up or come off it makes me nuts um i would rather spend a couple extra you know whatever it may be pennies to have a good sticker okay these were new to my Dollar Tree because the girl was just pulling them out of the box and I went, oh, 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 and she started laughing at me. Um, Kim, if you're watching, hi. <laughs> okay, um, these are easy on, easy off, and these are the famous uh, wall decors that we all know, but this one was just totally new to me. So I'm going to bring it in nice and close so all these stars are removable. Can you see her? Isn't she beautiful? And let me just go down nice and slow. You have your nor whale. Did I say that right? I'm going to call it a unicorn whale because I think it looks like a unicorn. Um, you have a seashell and you have, um, what is it there? It looks like a kitty cat mermaid. So here's what you have on the front. Look at her. Isn't she beautiful? Look at her blonde hair. Oh, she's so pretty. A sand dollar, some more stars. And then when you flip it over... Here's what's on the other side. Look at this girl got it going on. Look at all that do. Look at the little turtle. <laughs> all jazzed up and ready to rock and roll. Isn't she adorable? Got her head up in the air like she just don't care. So I ended up getting two of these. Look at that beautiful seahorse. Oh, I haven't seen any um, thing like this before. So I did grab two. So I was really excited to find that. Oh, I showed napkins the other night. Well, I think I showed you the yellow packages. So I went up and picked up one in this color, which is like a burnt orange. And then this one is obviously an olive green. These are those 36 count packages. Really, you get a lot of bang for your buck when you get these. And who's to say you can't use these at any time of the year, you know? But it's just when the holidays start to hit, more manufacturers throwing extra pieces to try to, you know, get your attention. It's all about presentation. If there's more in this package, you're going to pick that package up. So, again, you get 36 in a package. 
They're nice and thick. When you open them up full size, they measure 13 all the way around. So, hey, you know, regardless if you're paying a dollar, why would you grab a pack of napkins? Of course, unless it was a specialty napkin, but for anything in the Dollar Tree. If you have dish soap and then the next dish soap has four ounces free, well, hello, it doesn't take a rocket science here to figure it out. Okay, Halloween is out, fall is out, and Christmas is out. I stopped in Michael's. There's Christmas everywhere. I walked in and I was slammed in the face with Christmas and I was like, oh my God, already? Walked down and then there's Halloween and it's like Halloween already has 30% off. It's like, oh my God. But um, it's everywhere now. It's out there, you know, Christmas in July is gone. We're now August 1st. You're gonna start seeing it everywhere. Hobby Lobby started a couple weeks ago. Crazy. All right. So I did pick up a couple Halloween things. I don't tend to go overboard because I really don't need it. And I like to get the, you know, the first pick of it just like everybody else. Cause if you wait, it's gone. This is a four count. These I think are new this year. I've never seen these done in purple. And of course that's why I grabbed them. This is a four pack of glitter. And these are the full pumpkins. Now these are two and a half inches and you get four in there. Great for doing uh, mixed bowls or just any type of decorating. If you wanna use those in some type of flower or display, you just get yourself with some wire, insert it in the bottom and pop it right in the display. They also had a 12 pack and these are little small guys. Let me give you a measurement on these cause they're not big at all. They're actually one inch by one inch. You're getting 12 in a package Purple pumpkins, are those adorable? I've never seen these at the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree has, and this could also be used as a bowl filler too. And if you're not sure what I mean by bowl filler, because some people may not be familiar with that term, um, or they just don't, you know, they've never done it before. Perfect ideas. If you want me to see me do a bowl fill, I'll be happy to do that. A lot of you are asking me to do crafts and things like that. I tend to do more hand crafts towards the, you know, winter months when I'm stuck inside the house. Usually during the summertime, can't really keep me inside unless it's for reasons like what I'm going through right now or it's too damn hot. Okay, these were kind of cool. I found some more key covers. Now, you know, just because it says it's a key cover doesn't mean you have to use it as a key cover. You can use it for whatever you want. But these were new and they were different in my neighborhood, so I snagged them up. They measure one inch by two inch at your widest point. You get two in a package. And to me, and I could be wrong, those look like mermaid tails to me. What do you guys think? I think they're mermaid tails. If I'm wrong, you guys will let me know. Next package, I know what these are. These are llamas. Aren't they adorable? They are so cute. And for those of you that do use these on your keys, um, <clears throat> excuse me, basically when these start to wear out a little bit, these get weak and your keys will pull from them and you'll end up losing this. There's a quick fix to make that happen, but if I tell you what that quick fix is, once that key is in there, it is in there. So I would suggest you making a copy of a key before you put it into one of these if you use the permanent way that I could show you how to use it where it doesn't show that it's actually permanent. Um, up to you, let me know down below what you think. Last but not least, I'm getting this dude's name right now because I'm starting to see him all over. It's a set of Norwals, and I'm sorry, but to me, they're unicorn whales, and that's just what I'm gonna call them. Aren't they adorable? So those were super brand new in my area. I then grabbed this men's grooming kit. Um, it's a two-piece set. It's basically a little comb for like mustaches or beards, and I have to say, I've purchased this at Dollar Tree before, you know, in the past. This is something, again, that comes out this time of the year because of stocking stuffers. These scissors, they're really sharp. I mean, they really cut good. If you're looking to like do your bangs or maybe put a little chop in there, these are absolutely wonderful. Unless you use a texturizer or something like that. So just something a little bit cute. 
I did come across a couple more washies. Man, washy, 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 washy. Okay, I'm going to pop them out of the package because I just think that's just so much easier for me to show you all. This first one is Llama Heaven. Can you see? Nothing but llamas all the way around and cactuses. The next one is a very simple design. It's just basically pink, but it's done with two tones of pink. And it's just done in like little triangle pieces all the way around. But I'd never seen anything like that. So that was cool. Last but not least, I really wasn't sure. I couldn't read it in the store. And I'm still kind of having a, a little hard time. But it does have mermaids on it. And then it says joy. And then there's like a seahorse. Be brave. Happiness. It was just really, really hard. See, it kind of looks like you might have a hard time reading it on screen as well. It's beautiful, but it's just really hard to read it unless you're real close up. Like, there's the mermaid. So, it was super adorable. Never seen it before. So, I got that to share with all of you. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so I found these pumpkins. Now, these are, it says decor. You def, um, the first thing I thought of, what, let me flip it around the right way, Beth, duh. Um, the first thing I was thinking of was napkin holder. And then I was like, wait a minute. So I looked inside and went, nope, not a napkin holder. This would be a really cute thing. And I have so many ideas just like flying out of my brain right now. Obviously, I would do something to make it orange. I would probably end up doing, putting a filler in here and doing some kind of display um, I'm not sure where I'm going to go with these yet. So this is what they look like. I was a little disappointed that, you know, you know it's not on the back. But I can't bitch and moan because I do that enough. Um, Size-wise, we're looking at 5 inches by 5 inches. So, okay, the design's not in the back. All right, I'll get over it. But I thought these were really, really cute. So I... I have some DIYs in mind. If you're interested in seeing what that DIY is going to be, you are more than welcome to comment down below and say, hey, Beth, what's that DIY going to be? And hopefully I'll have an answer for you. Okay, I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just trying to, because um, Miss Kalua, you know, is always laying on my stuff. What time we got here? Oh, not much time. I'm not going to make it through. <laughs> this is terrible. I found these new chips, multi-green chips, but they're made with sea salt. I love sea salt. I've never heard of this company before. It's called Bountiful Harvest. It's a three ounce package. Um, they are good until January of 2020. Where do they come from? Doo, 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 doo. It looks like they're manufactured and distributed by Arm Roach Snatch and Candy. I just said snatch. Um, <laughs> bloop. <laughs> Let's try that again. Snacks and Candy Incorporated. <laughs> Perry, Florida. Okay, so they are total fat is 7 grams, saturated fat 0.5, sodium 124, um, a one ounce container. If you're watching your salt, you definitely got to watch it. But these were sea salt. They were new in my area, never seen them before, so I thought I would give them a try. I'm going to try to squeeze something else in here, and I don't know what, oh, I know what it is. So I showed you all one of these the other night. Whoops, there it is. I found the black and white version tonight. So I was happy to find that. I did see the gray one. I didn't like it. I didn't even want to show it to all of you because I was like, mm, I don't think many people would like it. I could be wrong, but they do have one that's done in gray. It just looks really pale to me. So I'm going to wrap it up. August 1st, everyone. Thank you so very much. Tomorrow, TGIF. It's Friday. Miss Clue is still just zonked. Until next time, everybody. Thank you so much for your continued support. Any questions, comments, hit me up down below. And please don't forget, thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Till next time, everyone. Have a wonderful evening. Bye for now.